Well, it is main event action here this week on the Reality of Wrestling and the brand new Reality of Wrestling champion, Abel Andrew Jackson in his first title defense. Brad Gilmore joined by Warren Johnson, a former champion in Reality Wrestling himself, member or the leader of the Renegades of Wrestling. How are we doing, Warren? I'm good. Something like that, the leader. I'm out here scouting the competition. You know how things go. Well, I know how you are. And this is, this is a man, though, who has been on this journey for 15 years plus to become the Reality Wrestling Champion. Let's take a look at how it happened. Brought to you by the King of Solar Screens. Oh, he blocks it. Big, oh. big thrust kick right to the, right to the chin. Right Wait, now, the for Paris. Him. Wait a minute. He's got a good it's swing vote. Swing vote. Swing vote. That could be it. One, two, three. We have a new champion. We have a new champion in the main event of Swing Vote. Abel Andrew Jackson has finally reached the mountaintop. He punched his ticket. He has been elected the Reality of Wrestling Champion. know what it's like to win championship gold for the first time in reality wrestling. What goes through your mind? You go to a whole new level when you get a championship around your waist. And here it comes, the Davidson Drip. Just one belt shy of having the trifecta, losing that reality wrestling championship. But Ryan Davidson still holding the wild chat. Yeah, still holding the Wildcat and Hurricane Pro Heavyweight Championships of the World. He was looking tonight to become a three-time Reality of Wrestling Champion against Abel Andrew Jackson. He's been saying it was all a fluke. It was all a fluke. People got caught up in the emotion of the event. He took his eye off the ball for just a moment, and that is the only reason why Abel Andrew Jackson won. He is used to having gold around his waist. He is the first ever Grand Slam champion in this company's history that means oh so much first and only man the bear ryan davidson is Someone you know you can look up to here in reality of wrestling. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a, a Grand Slam champion? That's something that you know I would love to do one day. You know, his tactics are not always the greatest. Um, you know, and, and you've had experience with Ryan Davis. We all kind of partnered up in the past yeah, before. Yeah, well, little, you know, little deals under the table here and there. But here we go. The bell's ringing. Hey, here we are. We're about to start up. These two men sizing each other up trying to see who's going to be the tougher. Collar and elbow there in the center. What goes through your mind, Warren, when you have to defend a championship in a main event situation that you just won? Well, the number one thing is, you know, when you're a champion, uh, you got a target on your back. So you got to be prepared. You always got to be ready. So you got to stay trained up. You got to stay prepared. Preparation is going to be your only luck from was what I've heard from a white oh. man. Oh. some mocking by the former champion to the current saying that are you still the face of reality of wrestling and here's the thing abel andrew jackson was in obscurity for several months if not years we hadn't seen anything from him and then he comes out of nowhere and gets a that, title that's shot. what i'm saying like he's been missing i don't even i haven't seen this man in, in months almost a year or so man and then he comes out of nowhere and gets a championship title shot and wins it's kind of unfair to in my eyes in my opinion but i mean hey he got the job done. So. Well, you know, he's been he's been running for his campaign for several years now, and finally he won a single election, and that election was the biggest one that you can win here in Reality of Wrestling. That's for the title. Um, and now he's got to, though, prove it. That's, that's what we've always said here at Reality of Wrestling. It's one thing to win. It's another thing to defend. On any given Sunday, someone can go out there and upset the world. We've seen it in boxing. We've seen it in MMA. We've seen it in professional football. Can you repeat? Can lightning strike twice? You gotta see, and it only takes three seconds in this business. Three seconds is the difference between infamy or being remembered forever. Oh, wow! Now that's disrespectful. That is disrespectful. You slap the taste out of your mouth, Abel. What you gonna do, man? Well, you see Abel getting fired up. Oh, my gosh. He, he, he got too emotional there, made a quick decision, and got caught with a right hand. Your emotions got to be intact when you're a champion, too. Man. You can't let little things like that 
you know, override what's at hand, the bigger prize up, up ahead. Now don't let temporary emotions determine your overall future. Go up. Oh, look at that, though. Great move right there from Abel Andrew Jackson ducking the line. Oh, but here's the veteran. Swing. Oh. Oh, and just throwing his whole body into the bear. And now we're seeing the champion. The champion is gaining confidence. Jumping right over right there. Isn't it a beautiful, beautiful right there. Oh, and another one. Fake them out. Cover one, two. A schoolboy. How fitting would that have been? Big drop kick there. We know that Abel Andrew Jackson won that match with the swing vote. That, that, that swinging neck breaker, DDT-like maneuver that he's beaten so many people in his illustrious career with. But Ryan Davidson, he can put you out with that bear lariat. Have you ever you know, felt one of those bear lariats before? I have been fortunate not to have felt the bear lariat. Oh, look at that! Uh, outside of the ring. Outside of the ring, right in front of the commentary table. And that, and that really speaks to the, to the abilities that Abel Andrew Jackson has been able to maintain throughout his entire career. A veteran who's still willing to take the high-risk maneuvers shows you how important this reality wrestling championship is to High-risk maneuvers play big when you've got a bigger opponent, like such as myself. I can't take a man like Ryan Davidson down with just a, a clothesline, so I have to use my whole body to get a man like that off his feet. That's an excellent point, Warren Johnson. And now you're talking about another high-risk maneuver. It mm -hmm. looks like looks like the champ is climbing up to the top. Oh, he has scouted. He saw Ryan Davidson out of the corner of his eye and a couple of right hands and ramming his head right into the turnbuckle. By any means necessary, right? Any means necessary. What's my man say? Straight to the top, right? Straight to the okay. top. Well, what, what are, at least that's what he signaled for. And there's, though, where the high-risk maneuver can come to bite you in the behind. Risk is the key word. Risk is the key word in the high risk. Absolutely. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't go out as planned. Look at that. Looking for the... Oh, no. Just an inverted suplex. Sending Abel Andrew Jackson straight on his face. Cover one, two. Can we have a new champion? No. See, I noticed Ryan Davidson knocked him off that perch onto his midsection. It looks like he's going to be working on that the whole match. Mm. You know, the it's way I'm peeping things out, the way I'm paying attention. Astute observation from somebody who has plenty of in-ring championship experience, and there it goes. Like you said, Warren Johnson, right to the rib cage again is Ryan Davidson. So Ryan Davidson, another thing that I admire about this man, he's smart. He's calculated. He knows what he has to do to get the things done that he has to get done. You know, he wants to be the champion again. He wants that championship back around his waist. Keep on working that mix session, brother. And he'd be, he'd be on a short list of individuals in the history of this company. Cover one, two. You saw the forearm to the face. Abel Andrew Jackson kicking out with both legs, and he's looking exhausted. And that's going to go to the rib injury. If you ever have you ever made, uh, sustained a rib injury in your career? No, but I have. You know, had my ribs attacked in a match, and it, you know, that's where your breathing comes from. It's you know, a man can't breathe, a man can't wrestle. So. Yeah, it looks like a smart strategy here from the Bear, continuing to attack the ribs, the sternum, the upper chest of Abel Andrew Jackson to restrict the breathing. Swing and a miss there. Go. Oh! 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 Trying to come back. And a shot again now to that midsection. Ryan Davidson looking for a Davidson driver. Oh, uh, no. Reversal. Yeah. Oh! Well, that'll slow you down. Atomic drops one name for it, but I think that Ryan Davidson is singing tenor in the gospel choir now. And now Ryan Davidson on his back, Abel on his back. Which man can get up to a vertical base? This is the main event here on Reality of Wrestling. It is for our top prize, the Reality of Wrestling Championship. We want to thank the now over 400,000 subscribers to the Reality Wrestling YouTube channel. Please like, share, and leave a comment as Abel Andrew Jackson now seemingly in the fight of his life, but it's going his way for the moment. Oh, my goodness. I may have spoke too soon. Oh, you crossbody. <laughs> Something you're not used to for Ryan Davidson. Cover one, two, and a kick out. Didn't get the job done, big man. You got to stay on him. Have to stay on Abel Andrew Jackson. You have to smother this man. You know, uh, one, of the, one of the reasons he's been able to stay in such tip-top condition is because he stays in tip-top condition. He's mm. got great stamina. He, he is able to go all night long, ready, willing, and able, no pun intended. Yeah. Oh. 
Warren, you called it right after we saw Abel Andrew Jackson land on that top turnbuckle. This was going to be Ryan Davidson's pinpoint. This was going to be where his focus would be pointed at to wear down the midsection, the ribs, to restrict the breathing of the champion. Squeezing the air out of him, squeezing the life out of him. And it looks like Abel Andrew Jackson might be fading here a little bit, trying to have this limited capacity audience get him back into it. Oh, and there you go. The ears, Ringing you go. the bell and doing it again. You want to talk about not being able to balance or understand where you are. Messing with the equilibrium will do that. And can he get him up? Big oh, my goodness. Look at that. It may have taken, though, the remainder of the strength from Abel Andrew Jackson to get the near 300-plus Ryan Davidson up and over like that. Now, referee counting. And what's going on in your mind as a competitor when you and your opponent have thrown everything at the wall and you find yourself in this position? You find yourself in this position, you're trying to, you know, collect all your thoughts, collect everything that you, you know, all your strategy and, and put it into a last bit of hope. You know, hopefully that crowd is getting behind you or, or whatever you can find to inspire you to come back and, and get the win. And it looks like Abel Andrew Jackson is doing so, just that. Both these men the back face. to a vertical base. Yeah, some punches to the face. Reversal here. Double reversal. Next oh, finger, look okay. at that. Again, though, every time Abel Andrew Jackson hits a big move, Warren Johnson, he cannot capitalize. Yeah, man, he's, he's using so much energy that he can't even cover after it. a big move. Yeah, and I think it goes back to, again, what you pointed out, those ribs. He's using all this exertion, all the oxygen is being let out just to hit these big maneuvers, but he's not he's able to capitalize. Up, Here we go. Can Sing. he hit him with it? Oh. Oh. Best swing vote. And the knee to the ribs. Ryan Davidson sends the champion into the corner. Reversal, though. This is okay. Okay. And that could be the opening that Abel Andrew Jackson needs. Hit him with that swing ball. He's calling for He's champ, huh? it. He's on. calling for it. He's here to prove that he is not one and done, What's like Ryan Davidson claims. Oh, look at that, though. He can't. When he extended that right arm to signal the swing vote, you could tell his ribs were still affecting him. And oh my goodness! I mean, gave him no chance to breathe. He smothers him with that modified bear lariat. I don't even know if it was a, it was a full lariat, more as a body avalanche attack. And now Ryan Davidson setting up for a second one. Oh! Kicks the hand, kicks the midsection, fighting through it. Oh, swing, swing vote. vote! Swing vote! Can he get the cover though, Warren Johnson? Again, again. Using all that energy, he can't cover the man. You're the champ, baby. You got to get it done. And you see the pain all over the face of the champion, on, slowly crawling over. There it is. Cover it's one, time. two. Oh, oh, my goodness. I knew it. Ryan Davidson finding a way to get that right shoulder up just in the nick of time. This match continues, but how much longer can Abel Andrew Jackson go on? I don't think he has much left in him, so the, my strategy would be to end this quick, man. Go for another swing vote, go for a, a submission or something. Do anything, anything to get the job done and punch your ticket, cast your ballot, if you will. Oh, my goodness. Ryan Davidson maybe just out of instinct sending Abel Andrew Jackson into the corner. Letting down them straps, you know what that means. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Catching him with the back elbow, though. Ryan Davidson stunned. The champion finding a way back into it. He's still in this. Oh, wow, look at that. How in the world did he hit an Enziguri this deep into the match? Uh-oh, he says he's still the face. Oh, big super kick in his face. Super kick right to the grill of the bear. And now Abel Andrew Jackson, though, got his eyes on the turnbuckle. What, is he thinking about going back up to the top? What is he thinking right here? Springboard! Oh, my Move goodness! Out the way. See, taking too much time, man. He should have put it away with something else and got it over with. Close but no cigar, as the old saying goes. Oh, and a bear lariat from the challenger. And what is he doing now? Setting him up for the Davidson driver, oh. Warren Johnson. This is not looking good for the champion. Can he cover? Look at him. Capital One, one. two. Wow. We have a new champion. Just like that. Once again, the Bear, Ryan Davidson, has climbed to the mountaintop for the third time in his illustrious career. He is now a three-time, a three-time, a three-time reality of wrestling champion. Incredible effort from the former champion.
able Andrew Jackson. He was in this to the very last second. But Warren, you uh, you saw it when as soon as it happened. When 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 able Andrew Jackson got draped on that top turnbuckle, that was really what decided the match. He just won it too. That's crazy. He just won it, but that shows you what it is here in reality of wrestling. Oh wait, hold on now. Ryan Davidson. Ryan Davidson with a growl on his face. What is he doing? Claiming something. He <laughs> shoved the referee out the way. He shoved Isaac Bouillon, our se senior official, out of the way. And he's screaming at Abel Andrew Jackson, saying, This is my championship now. Uh, oh, hold on. All the wait, what's what's going on? What's going on? The lights. It's completely dark in here all of a sudden. Wait, wait, what is that? We see someone emerging. Who is that? Wait a minute. That's the Savage King. Savage King. Savage King, who is undefeated here in reality of wrestling, is now staring down the bear. I think that Savage King might be issuing a challenge to ruthless Ryan Davidson. As you see, Abel Andrew Jackson still laying here in the ring, not aware of what's going on. Ryan Davidson might have his next challenger right in front of his face. And Ryan Davidson hightailing it out of the world. Jim Marino, Warren Johnson, thank you for joining us in the main event here at Reality of Wrestling for Warren Johnson. My name is Brad Gilmore, and we will see you next week on the Reality of Wrestling.